Careful. What you do with a tuba like this, it's a conversation starter. It's something that you walk by and you say, wow, look at that giant tuba. Something to really get people into the store. The tuba has been with Carl Fisher since its origin in about 1900. First in the store in the Lower East Side, then in the store at Cooper Square, starting about 1926. Um, then we moved to 1999 to Bleecker Street. In 2013, we moved to the Financial District. Well, when I walked in and saw the tuba for the first time, I was speechless. I immediately wanted to play it. Kind of sounds like a jackhammer, like a block away. It's not playable like a regular tuba, where it can play a chromatic scale, but if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck, you can play fundamental tones on it. But I think that's the fundamental of the horn. You think? I think that's the fundamental. It is not a normal tuba. It doesn't actually have any pistons and valves. It can only play the fundamental pitches, which would be one, five. I'm checking to see if it is the world's biggest bugle. I've emailed and been in contact with the world, Guinness Book of World Records. I haven't heard back yet. A bell on a normal tuba is around 18, 19 inches. This one's just about 41 inches, so it's much, much larger than your average tuba. Tubas and orchestras typically weigh about 30 to 35 pounds. The big tuba probably weighs easily over 100 pounds. It takes a good set of ears to be able to hear the notes because they're so low. It, it sounds like a helicopter on there, but... It's so low. You have fewer notes you can play because it takes so much more air to play this large instrument. I would say it would take at least four lungs. In the right set of lungs, it could sound gorgeous.